I'm Manish Zhang Thapa. Uh, I'm a software developer, front-end kind of enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So <laughs> I do a little bit of contributing and organizing web weekend, uh, doing front-end developing in nfcguide.com, and meeting new people. So let's go back to the kind of 15 years ago when there used to be server-side rendered JavaScript, no, little, little bit of JavaScript kind of websites. Uh, do you remember using MS on like uh, Yahoo? Do you remember? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I used to go to cyber and used to uh, like uh, register email. And the register email, uh, registering email used to be kind of hard. You do, I have to go source for like right username and keep doing, keep trying. There was a kind of pro problem, and people like who is uh, top-notch JavaScript developer, they found a solution, and they they found AJAX. They started making AJAX call without go, uh, doing server re refresh, and they started making a progress, and they started make J in jQuery. So. JavaScript started growing, web started growing, and module started growing. Do you use module? Uh, do you use, okay, sorry. Do you use just like the first figure kind of uh, modular, modular pattern? Have you used? Uh, scoped, function is scoped inside and uh, it, it runs one already and uh, string literal with use script. Yeah, it, it, it restricts uh, developers to use strict mode and uh, uh, helps in uh, going to the variables to the windows or global scope. So now we, uh, we have come to So after after ES ES six, we can we don't need to invoke uh, functions like this, uh, like no more I, I, if is. So what we we can do is we can put all of uh, JavaScript in, into one file and call it um, call it call it as a module. Can we do it? Obviously. So <laughs> and. And uh, the file can can have some uh, specific pro purpose, and we don't need if is we, we don't need uh, use strict mode because uh, already a modular pattern comes with uh, strict mode, and uh, possibility of uh, going to global scope and Windows scope is less uh, is to, uh, by default it is prevented unless we try to. Uh, go to Windows scope. Okay. So ES6 give, gives us new syntax to use modules. Uh, better syntax, I should say. And, uh, we can uh, export variables, uh, functions, class, and even uh, declare, uh, declare. And we can import the same thing from. Uh, from another component or file or module, and the import that we import are usually imm immutable bindings. So, since uh, we have come to the, the uh, we, have, we have used modules, we have like uh, started using modules from long time. It, it changed into file-based modules. Uh, it's time to use uh, components. The component is like a recent, I, I should say, uh, patterns uh, coming in uh, front end. What component, component one component sh uh, should be focusing on is, uh, one component should be focused on section of one each UI, not, not every UI. I mean like not cluttered UI. So not access another HTML directly. It's inca encapsulate its own uh, output, which is HTML, uh, its own CSS and its own functionality. And each component has one or more ways to communicate with another 
component. And by this, uh, it, it, uh, it adapts the uh, special feature of single rule, single, uh, uh, what do we call? Huh? <laughs> hmm? Yes, single responsibility. <laughs> So it's like a, a separation of concerns and uh, new uh, frameworks like modern frameworks usually you go through component, component uh, based uh, uh, system like uh, Angular one point something didn't have con component. We, it, it later used component after one point, I think four or something, three. Yeah? 1.5, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now component needs, uh, component has uh, its own singular thing. Uh, they have their own functions, but they need data. They need data or they need to access some browser APIs or they need something to do uh, which needs uh, to interact with another thing. So say component A need to uh, have a get request with a uh, server API. Uh, and component B needs some another get request. Component C needs uh, post. Uh, which, which will be authorized and uh, access uh, API from some server. Similarly, a component C, a component B also have to get the data then set in the local storage. And component D also wants to use local storage. So one component A can do uh, uh, re request in its own, component B also can do its own, but what if, we make a layer and make it, make it bounded to some inst instructions to, m to make it clear and to make it uh, kind of debugging and easy to change, we create a service layer. So service, service layer helps to, uh, helps one component to, be, uh, to work there uh, in for particular thing only and service layer makes uh, other tasks which is required by components easier and like changeable. Like uh, say uh, a component wants to uh, connect, uh, do a HTTP request. HTTP request can be done like XSR, page, or we can use in like uh, libraries like Axios or required JS. But uh, uh, we should not let like a uh, component to directly do page on their own, but uh, uh, through the layer. And it makes like more debugging easier and like understandable and, and separation of concern. Similarly, we can do this for like in using browser APIs, like local, local, local storage. So, after we, we get the data, we, we started getting uh, messages. We, we, we got the data. Say the scenario is like uh, we have a user, user get updated. Now user need to notify another component, uh, I am updated. Okay, <laughs> and uh, it's easier to update like uh, one component to another component. And but like, when, uh, one component to various component, we, if, if we have to update, and again, and various component need to update another component. It, it, cost, it, it started creating clutter and like become junk and loss of like uh, up and down through and froze. For this, we can use uh, publish subscribe pattern. In publish subscribe pattern, what happens is like, we have one uh, publisher and there, there can be a many subscriber. There's a layer which, which uh, subscriber listen and there's a layer where the publi publisher publishes. So th this way, like, say user is updated, then a uh, user a component can say, hey, I am updated to a publish layer, publish subscribe layer, and, uh, and the, uh, the other components, which is uh, listening to publish subscribe la layer, they can say, okay, I, I know that, now I know the fact, something like that. Using this publish subscribe pattern, uh, uh, we can grow to state management. So what do you think state is? Anyone? So what is state? 
first of all, I, 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 I always find like uh, state is kind of confusing for me. What is state? It, it, it is data, it is like click events, or it is like uh, uh, state of like uh, say we have a drawer, it is on or off. What is the state? Current value, yes. Current position, I, I, anything, and it, can, it can be anything, but which is uh, now live, right? So state, state management. So uh, using public, public subscribe and uh, more, uh, many, many styles, the uh, components, uh, component, uh, there, there are lo lots of libraries to manage this state, like Redux, Movex, Vx. And in Redux, in, in, uh, in inside Redux, there, there is a public subscriber uh, channel. It's not only public subscriber, but it does use in this this pattern. So what I mean is like when some click trigger or data comes, it goes to the action and it dispatches, and there's a middleware. We'll talk about middleware, and uh, it goes through the action again, and it, it goes to the reducer. It comes to the state, change the state, immutable state, then goes back to the React views. It's, it's for Re Redux, it's, it's similar for uh, um, PX or observable pattern in uh, Angular. So let's talk about uh, uh, middleware pattern. Like this, this is the easiest uh, I could get uh, about uh, uh, middleware pattern. It is for ExpressJS. Express it's like uh, middleware pattern is like there is some task to be done, and uh, someone change the uh, change the request. But in between, uh, before getting to, uh, to the conclusion or like to the task. Uh, there, there is a loss of criteria to fill, to be fulfilled. Say um, we want to log in. No, let, say we we want to uh, get uh, some restricted data uh, through API. Now, when we are we try to uh, get the API, we have to check is the person logged in, is the person have right access, is the person has right role, something like the, like that. We can check. And is the is the API from the certain routes to uh, like a certain domain? We check through lots of uh, things, and so we can manage this with a middleware pattern. Similarly, okay, Redux also uses middleware pattern. Middleware middlewares are written to be composable, meaning that middleware pattern functions can be run on one and one after after other. For example, logging middleware also and Redux func. So, uh, in in uh, front end also we can use middleware to guide some restricted pages, like uh, guard the pages. Uh, say we have a dashboard, we don't want to go to dashboard to a person who, who is not uh, logged in. So we can use middleware, middleware and, and check if the local local storage has the token or not. And middlewares, multiple middlewares uh, can be done work together. Like uh, it's just a layer, and we can pass to next, next, next. Uh, like invoke, invoke a function. The function before going to the conclusion, like last function, it in the middle we, we start as uh, prompting to another uh, uh, function, and finally, if everything is valid, we go to the conclusion like. Try as, try catch, <laughs> phase, something like. So all that side, uh, we, we have seen components and um, different layers. We can, what we, we have to do is to make manageable code. We have to uh, manage the structure. So uh, uh, before the, there used to be structure in front end like JS, image, CSS, and the ESG, in, uh, index or HTML. In JS, there will be bulky big JS, but like we can manage this in like different format, like assets, components, service, uh, states, views. Views is for routes, something like that, and config. We need configs <laughs> and packages. So we. we we, we structure the modules uh, based on the separation of concerns, like co co components has lots of co components in it, and, and services have services, and feature-based component built together. So here, if a component is summary, then summary has its own HTML, is its own CSS and uh, functionality. 
Okay. We have uh, seen year six, but the thing is like, the scenario is uh, we have moved forward, but the browser that we use is still backward. The environment we use still doesn't support uh, year six, and it, it still doesn't support imports. So what do we do is we use we have to use uh, build tools, build tools like. Uh, uh, what do you? What, what, what is the most common build tool you have used? Huh? What? Babel. Babel. I use Webpack. I have used Gulp. Have you used Grunt? Browserify. Oh. <laughs> so okay, uh, we have lots of uh, uh, build tools like Closure, TypeScript plus Webpack, Babel. Babel is for like it's turning ES6 to ES5. Webpack is for build. And uh, seeing this start and uh, looking at the runtime and uh, compilation and all Webpack plus Babel is the best we should choose. And uh, it's the recommended one for like React and Angular and most the recent framework. So there used to be a build tool. Uh, there used to be Tax Runner like uh, Golf, Grunt. Now it is kind of a Webpack. It's a build tool, the situation has shift. So, okay, configuring con 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 way, way back. So, what I mean is to, uh, while developing, while in the development in environment, we, we, we required uh, con console logs uh, and more, more debugging features, and not cluttered, not minified uh, files. And for that, we can use con 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 configuration to, uh, in Webpack to uh, be, uh, build for development. And for similarly, we can use uh, like clear all the logs, and make like simplified and minified uh, files. And if we want like lazy loading, we can separate the files. We can do it with uh, me, uh, we can set configuration for Webpack. Uh, okay. You can go through rules. So finally, um, after the build, build tool, all the, all the things we have done, uh, this, lay, this part, structuring, the, it's all come back to again, JavaScript and static, something like that. <laughs> yeah, back. So conclusion, JavaScript is, 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 ecosystem is changing. Uh, adapting new, ch new change is a must. We should change, we should always go, go forward. Uh, JavaScript is moving to uh, functional modular. It's getting more capability. Uh, even uh, HTML is getting more ma more capable. capable. Uh, there used to be Flash. There used to be Java appliers in the uh, browser. Now it is all can be done with uh, HTML5. Eco ecosystem is getting uh, better. Uh, for better developing and better uh, uh, for where uh, we, we should follow and move forward. Thank you.